No anesthetic or anything? No, nothing like that. If you see a little bit of blood, don't freak out, that's normal. You're gonna probably scream. So today we're going to be exploring the piercing. It's kind of a strange thing if you ask me. However, I'm not opposed to strange things. I'm willing to try anything once. Alright, piercing. Okay, five, five. I'm seeing really high numbers coming in for the piercings. So I just stumbled upon Forever Ink Bar and Tattoo Shop. The fact that it is at a bar is a little bit concerning. Don't drink alcohol or caffeine before or right after your piercing. This can cause blood thinning and lead to excessive bleeding, bruising around the piercing site and extra pain. It seems like a bit of a flawed business model, the drinking and the piercing. I came in for a piercing, ended up bleeding, and piercing turned black and blue. They didn't even care! If I could give this place less than one star, I would. From the very beginning, this guy was an asshole. I should have never let him pierce me. Go at own risk. Which is what I'm planning on doing. I also haven't really fully decided what I want pierced. I know that I want it to be either the nipple, the belly button, or the tongue. So also I was doing a little more research and it actually turns out that they were once closed by the health department for inking and drinking. So I guess it's not just me that finds it surprising that it's an establishment that offers both alcohol and piercings and tattoos, but also the city even went as far as shutting this place down. What can I get for you today? Um, I was thinking a margarita, if that's cool. She made me a margarita which literally tasted like armpits, I kid you not. How oh, is it good? Very good, thank you. So I mean, I came in for a piercing. What are we doing? So I guess I wanted to even ask you what you think. I could do anywhere besides the penis. Like around it, you could do something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm quite there yet, I guess. So I was kind of like swaying between the tongue, the nipple, and the belly button. The tongue, the, the healing price is a little complicated. For like about, about two weeks, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. The nipple is very, very simple. It's, it's simple. a little painful to get it. Have you had any kind of crazy run-ins with anyone over the years? Oh, yeah. People, sometimes they get, they get dizzy and they get lightheaded right after the piercing. But then they, the girl's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm good. She just busts their head on the door. The people standing like, oh, we gotta call the, the ambulance. The ambulance comes, she gets up, she's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Well, let's see what happens to me. <laughs> I'm just on the fence. Should we flip a coin right now? Let's do it. Heads is the nipple. Heads, nipples. All right, tails is the belly button. Yep. All right. Heads, it's the nipple. All right, the nipple one to the nipple. So I was thinking of getting my nipple pierced. All right, sounds good. First, you gotta sign this release form for me, right? Cool. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. Come on, come on in. Cool, thank you. After two margaritas and a shot of rum, I was definitely ready to proceed with the nipple piercing. You're getting your right nipple or your left nipple? I guess there's only two options. Hmm, so... I guess this one is the left nipple. 
And this one's the right nipple. Right. Hmm. Right the hardest, like right here. Have a seat right there, and Perfect. we're ready to go. As I sat in the chair, nipples exposed, I couldn't stop thinking about the reviews. He didn't even mark the skin before piercing. I didn't realize it was crooked until I went home. After examining the work the next day, I became furious. You're gonna do some breathing exercise into your nose, out your mouth a couple of times. They don't pay attention to what they're doing at all. His hand was heavy. He kept being distracted by everything else happening in the shop. When I grab your nipple with a clamp. No anesthetic or anything? No, nothing like that. Remember I told you breathing with me? His hand was heavy, heavy, heavy. Ended up bleeding and piercing turned black and blue. Black and blue, black and blue. And now this time, do it or hold your breath, okay? So I guess coming into here, I noticed some people had a few complaints. Where where did you go? Where did you hear this? Oh, just on the reviews online. About our shop? Yeah. I mean... In terms of someone saying... Sorry, let me just see real quick. Well, I'm being ambushed right now? Am I being ambushed? No, you're not being ambushed. No. Can you give me one, one second? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't aware that you guys were going to ask all these questions. I don't want you to feel like I'm ambushing you. Like I'm no, I don't feel like I wasn't aware. The so internet is a wild it. west and people just say whatever they want right. and it doesn't have to yeah. be true. It's oh. literally an opportunity for you to, you know, speak on your business. So for example, someone said, you know, some of these were done crooked, incorrectly. There's millions of people, man. We can't focus just on, on the negative people. Um, someone mentioned that it seemed like the guy was distracted on everything else that was happening in the shop. Uh, do you feel that way right now? I don't. I'm just reading what I saw online just right. for you to basically, you know... I think I got, I got to pierce you. Know. Let's just pierce the nipple. Just pierce yeah, sorry up. about that. All right. Cool. But then maybe we'll touch on one more once I get it done. Yeah. I'm All pretty right. fucking scared, by the way. You're gonna probably scream now. If you see a little bit of blood, don't freak out. That's normal. All right. Now, do it and hold your breath, all right? Hold your breath. Oh, son let of go, a let go. bitch. Like I told you, you're gonna see a little bit of blood. Okay. Don't freak out. I mean, honestly though, I know I'm pressing for these reviews and all that stuff, but I mean, working with you so far has been very chill, cool. I must say. So I read somewhere that this shut down for a little while. Um, do you want to just, I guess, sum up that story? This happened a few months ago. We were doing a workshop in the bar area. Okay. So we called it Ink and Drink. As a result, did that actually, uh, they like shut it down for a minute? The health department came in. They were like, you can't do that. And honestly, like, I think you did an incredible job on this nipple piercing. Like. Not that I know about nipple piercings, but right. just if I had to say, it looks like it's been a very successful nipple piercing. I mean, I can say now I would give it, you know, a, a high review. Well above, you know, definitely above like a full, I'll figure it out. Thank you so much for uh, chatting me about it. Sorry if you thought I was ambushing you, I promise no, I wasn't. Fine. No, but that's fine. you also did really well. The bar was welcoming, but the piercing was uncomfortable, and not just for my nipple. However, I can only blame myself for this as I brought up the reviews while my nipple was mid-clamp. The needle going through my nipple was even more painful than I had anticipated, but that's no major surprise, and luckily Rick had some helpful breathing techniques that he shared with me. As far as the healing goes, it looks great, and I'm pretty sure it's not infected. However, at times, I did suspect I was heading down that route. Nonetheless, I too came out the other side, like the needle through my nipple. And it is now a part of who I am. Do most people get both done or one? Guys usually do one. One? Yes, women do two. Should I question the uh, gender roles and do both? Nah. 